They want the 107 bridge. Shallow one, Jake. Shallow one. Now they're finding out. The reports are coming out now. That dozens, dozens of towns, maybe even hundreds, from Florida, all the way up to North Carolina. I know Western PA. They've been getting a lot of rain. And I was down near uh, North Carolina several days ago. I meant to let. Uh, you brothers and sisters know about that. When I was driving through Virginia, because um, the company I work for, we um, we're not we're, we're we're not helping, but we're assisting. So what they're saying is is that the regions down there need help. So as I was driving down there, I noticed a lot of the rivers was had was real muddy and what that came from that's because the water is still high it's still a lot of water and there's nowhere to go so it's is 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 going through all these different states at such a high a high rate that it's causing the water to muddy up and kick up sediment and dirt everywhere so this thing this thing ain't no but remember they got three more hurricanes headed up towards that area and hey I bought a report out they're saying that the the um the uh unalibri may be two to three hundred times higher than what um the government is actually reporting. Independent firms are saying that. Yep. So we're gonna get into this and I'm gonna show you how they operate. Because they're doing something else and they're not saying nothing. Okay? Now I'm gonna show you. Second Ezra 6 verse 18. And it said, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. And it's obvious what's going on. Second Ezra 6 verse 19. And I and will begin to make inquisition of them what they be that have hurt unjustly when they are with their unrighteousness, and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled. And hey, and all that is happening, okay? This is one brother I found. Um, he ain't in the truth. But man, he going and searching, doing the history. He put something out there that was beautiful about these sundown towns, and I'm going to show you. Let's keep going. And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then will I show these tokens, the books shall be open before the firmament and they shall see all together. Everybody can go online now and access the Urim and Thurm, pretty much as which is this internet, and they're allowed to see everything. You could get videos all all days and hours of the night. You can you can open up and get a um, you type in GMS before any video you can find a breakdown on anything you need. Okay? Anything you need concerning the scriptures. GMS got a video on it. Okay? So let's get into this. Yeah, this brother, he bring out a lot of information. Hey, Jake's are waking up. I don't know if he know that he is Jake, but listen to the information that uh he going to bring out. And I'm going to put his uh you know, his link in the description box cuz you can get some good information from his brother. Now, he was he was one of the brothers talking about them sundown towns. Okay, now he'll go in there and get receipts for you. Okay, so let's get into this. Barakata Hawa, Barakata Hawa Shah, Barakata Hawa, Barakata Hawa Shah, Barakata Hawa, Barakata Hawa Shah, Call her law, Yahawa, Bashem, Yahawa Shah, Bashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. I believe those are the prophets. Shalom and salutations to those that teach the likewise doctrine. Shalom to the Akim and the Aqua. Shalom to the scattered Israelites across the four corners of the earth. May the Most High and the Son be with you during these trying times. Because as you see, everything is happening now. Okay? Now listen to what this brother got to say.
turn it off of slavery and move on with life. I'm going to say that again like Dr. Umar. They thought that they can profit off of slavery and move on with life. See, we still suffering from the things that happened to our ancestors. We have to go on Ancestry.com just to find out who our grandparents are, just to find out who our great-grandparents are because they were sold on plantations. So you think... Now, I'm going I'm to I'm make mention of something. I may jump in and out. A, a, a lot of the, these uh, DNA places, they're um, they selling information in China, so be careful with that. Another thing, you really don't necessarily have to go on Ancestry of 23 and Me. All you need to do is pick up the scriptures, and the spirit will tell you who you is if the, if, um, the Most High is dealing with you. Because when I, when I, even, even when I was reading the scriptures as a Christian, when I started reading them for myself, I knew who the devil was, and I knew who I was. That's all you need to know. When you used to pick it up and start reading it, if the, the spirit is dealing with you, you're going to know that you're them people. And you're going to know that they the devil. Because as soon as I read that scripture where it say the world was given over to the wicked, I seen I seen I seen a, uh, uh, I seen a uh, hey, I seen a white man, plain and simple. Okay? That's what I seen mentally. And now you got, her, I'm listening to it on the news, you got Hurricane Milton coming up. But it's something strange about that. We're going to let him finish talking. If we have to suffer, that y'all just going to live a happy life, happy go lucky life with your nice homes, with your, nah, it don't work like that. How do you say it? The ancestors don't sleep. And when I say North Carolina is a sundown state, I really mean that, bro. And we and it's not the ancestors, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the ancient of days. Okay, that's who it is. We're going to start off with Asheville, the history. Samuel Ash was a slave owner. He was a governor also. Ash County and the cities of Asheville and Asheboro in North Carolina are named in his honor. Ash was a slave owner, and one such person... Amar was a West African woman kidnapped and brought to America in 1735 aboard a ship called the Donington. Legendary tennis player Arthur Ashe was a direct descendant of Amor. Amar. Yeah, and see, this place was named at the um, a slave owner, governor slave owner. And see, Arthur Ashe, hey, he must have been one of them people who um, his, his ancestors was a, a ravage. And eventually he was born, you see? And um Apostle Cabal he brought out a, a um he brought out a um a clip showing that they passed a law whereas though they didn't have to um take care of their kids after they ravaged the woman. I meant to save that video and, and, and actually um I was going to re-upload it on my page because I can't find no more information on it. But yeah, they actually were selling their own kids into slavery. You see how they do? You see now the Most High is visiting them. And it's not. It's going to intensify. It's going to be calamity at the calamity at the calamity at the calamity. And let me see if I can find this other video. Now, you know what? I'm going to say that for another report. Because this thing is, hey, by the time all this over with, these places might not exist no more. Okay? Now, let me show you this. Psalms 144, verse 5. Forgive me, verse 6. I got to get my eyes checked, too. I guess because I'm getting older. Um, just can't see how you used to or something. I don't know. Cast forth lightning and scatter them, shoot out thy arrows, and destroy them. Send thy hand from above, rid me, and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of strange children. Now, we know these people eventually going to come in like a flood, right? And we know, hey, the one-third, most high willing, we are part of that. We're going to make it up out of here. But as you can see, hey, the most high, he's starting to cast forth his hand upon these people. This thing is getting ready to intensify, okay? And 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 let me show you about this uh, Hurricane Milton. 
They say this hurricane is doing something they've never seen in years. Let me show you what the locals are saying about this Hurricane Milton. This is what they're saying about uh, Hurricane Milton. And they're telling people to leave now. They said they've never seen this before. Okay? This is what it says. I'm in NC. We can't handle this again. This is what uh, the locals are saying. We have so many that lost everything, even lives lost. Please go away. And that's not what I'm looking for. It's a this person. I've never in my 62 years seen a storm go from Western Gulf straight east towards Florida. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense the way the trade winds flow. Okay? It doesn't make any sense. Now, I've, I've worked all around the Gulf of Mexico. I've visited there. I've been in on the islands there. And see, a lot of Jakes don't know you got the Padre Islands. You actually got islands all around um, uh, the southern tip of um, the United States. All right? You got a lot of things going on. Let me show you um, what they're saying. See, they've never seen that before. Okay? Listen to what one of these uh, people that was trying to help said. I arrived here in Augusta, Georgia from Tampa. Florida, I w a week ago to help the folks in the area get their power back due to the effects of Helene. Now I sit in my hotel making plans to get home to get my own house and keep my family safe. It's funny how things work. Praying for those everywhere. You see that? He thought that he was going to go help these people. Now the most high hey, is, is, is getting ready to put uh, Georgia in the, um, the sites of these hurricanes. You see that? Especially all the land theft that's been going on in North Carolina. They're doing that today. Okay, that's why I told my wife to check on her uh, acres. Right? Let me show you something else. Now, you see how they're talking about um, mainly the residents in Asheville? They're not really talking about anyone else. But you got um, these different prepper channels, these different people talking about it. Well, let me show you what they're not talking about, okay? And see, we know all the all the migrants that come that they come here, they ain't bad. But it's just so many that came here that they committed so many crimes that they mixed in with the uh, good migrants. Because America do need about twenty million young uh, people. Because who's gonna pay Social Security? A lot of uh, America is elderly now. Actually, a lot of these places, uh, nations where the Edomites live, they ain't having babies. They're getting old. Okay? And a lot of things they did is starting to come back upon their own head. Now listen to this. Mexican immigrants plagued by questions that the plant workers swept away by uh, Helene. So they went to go work these jobs. They ain't get a peep from nobody. Remember how they saying they're going to bulldoze the towns and just bury everybody? They ain't going in uh, trying to do no rescue because they saying that people is under a lot, is under so many feet of sand. There's so much sand everywhere because of the mines and um, so much like I was saying. Even in Virginia, the water is muddy. The water, the water flowing all the way from the Carolinas to the Virginias and all the water is dirty. People under sediment, cars under sediment. And they say you don't see the people, but you smell them. You may find a body here and there, but hey, how about Shimmy How was shot? Hey, he said when he's done with these people, they're not even gonna be remembered. They're gonna be like a bad dream. Okay. Well, actually, let me get that scripture since I brought it up. Job twenty verse seven. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him. She'll say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. You see that? The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. See? It's going to be like, it, like this whole reality is going to seem like a bad dream. Okay? All right, let's, let's get back to that story. Now, look at this. 
With shaking hands, Daniel Delgado kissed a photo of his wife, Monica Hernandez, before lighting a candle in the supermarket park parking lot. Family members hugged pictures printed on poster boards, some collapsing into them as tears as search helicopters flew overhead in the direction of the hills. Now listen to this. This didn't even happen in North Carolina. This was in Tennessee. Days after six workers at a plastic factory in Inwin, Tennessee disappeared under surging floodwaters caused by Hurricane Helene. Remember, this affected Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, okay? And other little towns that, that, that damn near completely washed away, Okay? Days, a lot of these was uh, former Confederate states too. Days after six workers at a plastic factory in Irwin, Tennessee, disappeared under surging floodwaters caused by Hurricane Haleem, loved ones and supporters have been gathering for vigils in front of churches, a high school, and grocery store to honor them. Now, notice you ain't hear nothing about this. You keep hearing about them hillbillies in them hills and Black Mountain and stuff like that, but you ain't hear nothing about these migrants. But yeah, they're saying that a lot of these migrants are gone. And let's listen to this. It says, um, <clears throat> most nights prayers in Spanish are spoken over rosary beads, and there they go with that. We keep telling you Mother Mary and Jesus ain't their name, them rosary beads. You know, they hey, some of my family be using them, man. They had them hanging in my car, took them out my car. Okay? Now, my wife, she don't, she used to use them. I told her, hey, I had to tell her what's really going on. And now she's starting to see it. Okay? It's a, Mary, Mother Jesus, intercede and help us find them. And see, there they go. There they go with that Catholic, that Catholic um, doctrine. The stone which claimed the lives of at least 227 people across six states quickly overwhelmed Irwin and the Appalachian town of around 6,000 on September 27th. Here it is. It's, it's the first week of October literally gone. We still talk about this hurricane and people being found under under a lot of sand and in trees and everything. And resulted in more than 50 people being rescued by a helicopter from the roof of a submerged hospital. But you don't hear nothing about um these migrants. You see that? They say the scar left behind has been especially devastating within a small Latino community that makes up a disproportionate number of workers at the factory. Four to six workers swept away with Mexican American. You see that? And see, we keep telling them if you, you get away from that and you deal with your how about shimmy how was shy, you may hey, more likely he's gonna save you. You got to know the correct name. But, hey, we know a lot of a lot of Latinos deal with that Catholic um, doctrine, even though we keep showing them. All right? So, yeah, Jake, I just wanted to get this out to the family. These migrants, these Northern Kingdom Jakes, okay, um, don't be surprised if you had some Southern Kingdom Jakes peppered in here, too. But, hey, they being swept away, too. And, hey, you don't really hear nobody talking about it. Right, so I'll put this link down in the description box. But yeah, hey, Jake's getting caught up in this too. Just not as bad as uh, the devil. So I'll see you again real soon. I'm gonna get one more scripture and leave it there, Jake. <laughs> Isaiah 46 verse 6: They lavish gold out of the bag and weigh silver in the balance and hire a goldsmith and he make it a god. They fall down, yea, they worship. Now they ain't putting gold and all they ain't doing all that jake ain't got no money for that but they using them rosary beads they praying to mother murray you know they um they doing all type of madness especially these um these northern kingdom jakes that follow out of catholic catholic doctrine yeah Isaiah 46 verse 7, they bear him upon the shoulder, they carry him and set him in his place, and he standeth from his place, shall he not remove, yea, one shall cry on to him, yet can he not answer, nor save him out of his trouble, yeah, these rosary beads, these little candles that they be selling at Dollar Tree, with the picture uh, with Jesus on it, and they light the candle, yeah, none of that's going to save you, Jake. Remember this and show yourselves, men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. And see, the Most High is visiting these people. He remember all things, okay? 
Isaiah 46 verse 9, remember the former things of old, for I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. And you're seeing that come to pass now. Okay? The kingdom is being translated from one to another. Right? Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. You're starting to see the end of this man's kingdom. Okay? So you got more hurricanes coming, more madness and destruction. And hey, the Most High is declaring the end from the beginning. Call her Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. See you again real soon, Jake. Shalom.